Hello guys and welcome to Walking Project. In the today's video I'm gonna do a teardown of the Otsin 3310, the cheap Chinese Nokia 3310 knockoff and see what's inside. So let's get started. Now if you missed my review check it out in the description down below. The phone feels quite cheap but actually it offers a good value for money uh, especially compared to the real Nokia 3310 over here so let's see it's very light it almost has no battery but the back cover is quite easy to open unlike the original one the battery is 1000 milliamp hours bill 5c that's essentially a nokia battery and i think that if you put a nokia battery it's gonna have absolutely no problems two sim card slots one micro sd and we got six screws holding the phone all together and I'm really interested to see if there's any kind of frame or they directly copied the original Nokia 3310. So let's get it on. Okay, so with the screws out of the way, let's see how we can open this baby up. I have my small pry tool over here and I, and I encourage you to use something like that instead of damaging your fingernails but let's see let's see how we can pry this one off okay we start from here we're just gonna slide this from here okay so that's our phone let's check the keyboard yeah not that bad actually it's not that bad what else do we have the glass, I believe, is plastic, but anyway. Yeah, so that's our mainboard over here. The screen, as you can see, is not <laughs> holding on to absolutely anything. And let's see if we can pry this mainboard off somehow and see what's inside. Right. It seems like it was glued a little bit. Um, that's our microphone, I can imagine. And that's a cable which just hangs in the air, just like that. <laughs> what else do we have here? Yeah, that's probably our antenna cable, but I have no idea. Is it, I mean, <laughs> did I just broke it? Or what just happened? I have totally no clue. Um, so yeah, let's remove the sticker over here. and see what it is going to reveal. Right. So the screen itself, I'm really not a fan of this kind of connection, to be honest with you. Ah, it's pretty bad. And the camera, the camera is soldered as well, as you can see from the, to the main board. Um, that's our ringer, which is, <laughs> I, I haven't seen such a big ringer in my life, to be honest with you. Check the size of that. Check it out. That's absolutely ridiculous, guys. And uh, what else? I mean, repairability, as far as I can see, it's pretty bad. I mean, everything is soldered to the main board, all the charging ports, the microphone, and I really don't see where my vibration should be, and <laughs> because my vibration wasn't working before I dismantled the phone. So, yeah, I mean, quite a cheap build. My next video will be the durability test. The original Nokia 3310 survived my durability video, but this one, as far as I can see, ah, oh man, it's gonna be epic. So hit the thumbs up if you like my video, guys. Subscribe to my channel as well, and see you in the next one. Adios.